Human rights in Eritrea are systematically violated. There is no freedom of expression, there's no freedom of religion. If you criticise the government, you'll be arrested. And thousands and thousands of prisoners of conscience, political prisoners, have been arrested during Eritrea's 20 years of independence. A lot of detention centres across Eritrea use underground cells and shipping containers to hold prisoners. So if you're arrested, you might end up in one of these. So in a container like this, there might be 20, 30 people, even more than that. And they'll be led out maybe once or twice in the day to use the toilet. A lot of detention centres in Eritrea are in desert locations and other locations that suffer extremes of temperature. Um, very, very hot in the daytime, very cold at night. And the metal walls of the container will magnify the temperatures. So conditions are really appalling. One young man who escaped is Kadane, who was caught trying to flee the country to avoid indefinite conscription in national service. And after he fled the country, he told us his story. We had to go out of hell to heaven. That, this, this is the comparison, you know, this is the comparison. Eritrea is a hell place for us, and uh, the place where we are expecting to go as a heaven, a safe, safe place for us. You can take it up. Yeah, actually I was imprisoned here in Maedaga. And uh, in this place, it's very horrible. There is like two holes covered with a zinc cover. You got two breads a day, and then it's very crowded. Lice all the time, very dirty. <sighs> there is no any proper scent. There is nothing, it's like real, real terrible place. Amnesty International has received a number of reports of people dying in shipping containers as a result of the conditions uh, of the heat and as a result of torture and other forms of ill treatment. Uh, this is Ala. Yeah, in this place, in this Ala area, there are several prison centers you know, among the jungle of cactus tree. Uh, there is like a very small prison cells where they basically tortured and, you know. And then I remember I was beaten really, really terribly. And make you, make you believe whatever things that you never did. And then you just have to, they just have to make you believe, you know. It's, it's, it's a crazy place. So, yeah. Um, there's a lot of secrecy around detention in Eritrea, a lot of detention centres aren't known about. And so as, as part of this project we've mapped, using satellites, a number of detention centres that we've identified the location of and taken satellite imagery of those detention centres to break some of the secrecy around detention practices and to ensure that these, these prisoners aren't forgotten.